In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the MACD or the MACD indicator to make millions in the bull market with a very specific trading strategy. So let me show you how it's done. Step number one, as always, is to subscribe to this YouTube channel and press the notification bell. Step number two is to create an account on a crypto exchange so that you can follow these strategies. Personally, I uh, use my, uh, my favorite exchange, which is Bybit. Before we start trading, we need to deposit money. For this, you just open up your Bybit account here. You click on assets, you click on deposit. Then you choose the coin you want to deposit. You confirm the details and um, that is easy as that. After you've deposited your funds, I want to show you now then how to actually open a position because you need to know that before I teach you the strategy. You click on derivatives at the top of your menu bar, click on USDT perpetual, and it will take you to the corresponding trading interface. Select the asset you want to trade here in the upper left corner. Now you choose your order type from limit market or conditional. And finally, you choose your leverage. Of course, up to 100x is possible on Bybit. Confirm your order details and click on buy long or sell short to open your position. Once your order is filled, you can view the details under the positions tab. All right, so now you know how to open a position. Now we have to go through when to open a position because that's where the magic happens. Now, let's go back to the actual strategy here. So first things first, what is the MACD? It's the moving average convergence divergence or the MACD, MACD. People have many words for it, but that's what it is. This Indicator helps you identify potential trends by showing crossovers between two lines. If the blue line crosses above the orange line, it shows the market is potentially trending upward and it would be a good buying opportunity. On the other hand, if the blue line crosses below the orange line, it shows the market is potentially trending downward and it would be a good selling opportunity. A common problem with this strategy is that it only works in trending markets. You know the market is not always trending, right? Sometimes it goes sideways within a range. So the MACD indicator would give false signals in, the, in that um, environment. Here you can see the MACD crossing upwards, showing that an upward trend is coming. But the market structure is moving sideways, so it gave a false signal and the market did not go up. Now, with time, such false signals can wipe out your profits. We want to avoid that. So you can use the upgraded version of the classic MACD indicator called the Impulse MACD indicator. This indicator is also a momentum indicator that could detect trends, but it has its own unique features. Unlike the classic MACD or MACD indicator that gives false signals when the market moves sideways, the Impulse MACD indicator filters out these false signals by going flat. To use this indicator, go to TradingView, link down below, click my link to TradingView below to get a uh, discount, um, and then you upgrade to the Pro version. Now select the trading pair you want to trade here, and in this case I'm choosing Bitcoin against the USD. Click here on the Indicators tab, type Impulse MACD, and select this one right here. Click on the settings of the indicator, click on style and change the impulse MACD uh, color 0, color 1, color 2 and color 3 to blue. Click here and change the color of the impulse histo to green. Next click here and change the color of the impulse MACD or MACD signal to orange. Uh, the impulse MACD indicator has four components. First you have this blue line called the impulse MACD. Next, this orange line is called the signal line and you have the histogram and middle line. Now, using this indicator is very similar to the normal MACD indicator. You can use this indicator to identify trends in the market by looking at the crossover between the impulse MACD line and the signal line. If the impulse MACD line crosses above the signal line like this, it shows the momentum is going upwards. On the other hand, if the impulse MACD line crosses below the signal line like this, it indicates the momentum is going downwards. But if the two lines go flat like this, it shows that the market is ranging or moving sideways and you should avoid opening any positions. Now, let's find out some strategies you can use with this indicator 
But before I do that, make sure to sign up to buy a bit below my video. You have the description, you have the link, make full KYC and then you can actually start trading on Bybit. But yeah, the first strategy with this indicator that I will show is called the Impulse MACD extension. Step number one is that you need to manually add the overbought and oversold levels on the indicator. For this, click here on the line tab, choose the horizontal line and add it above the middle line of the indicator. So this will be your overbought line. For your oversold line, click here on the line tab, choose the horizontal line and add it below the middle line of the indicator. The reason behind adding these overbought and oversold levels to the indicator is that you want to ensure you only take positions from crossovers which happen outside of these levels. It means that the price is overextended which increases the chances of making significant moves. Now, to determine the exact placement of the overbought and oversold lines, first zoom out of your chart to determine the overbought lines placement. Here you can see there are two types of crossovers happening. These are the crossovers that happen away from the middle line and are called major crossovers. Next, you have the smaller crossovers happening closer to the middle line called minor crossovers. So, what you need to do is separate the major crossovers from the minor crossovers by drawing a horizontal line like this so that the minor crossovers should go below it and the major crossovers should be above it. Again, the reason for this is you only want to take positions from these major crossovers and ignore the minor ones. So this is your overbought line. Now place your oversold line to the opposite of your overbought line. Check the value of your overbought line and place your oversold line to the negative of that value. So your indicator is ready. First, your buy signal. You only take positions if the impulse MACD crosses over upwards, but the crossover should be below the oversold line. Next, for your sales signal, you only take positions if the impulse MACD crosses over downwards, but the crossover should be above the overbought line. If the crossovers happen between the lines, you should ignore them, as you should only take positions if the price is overextended. Here you can see a crossover upwards on the impulse MACD, but it is happening below the overbought line. It shows the price is on an upward momentum while being oversold. So you can open a buy position here. For your risk management, set your stop loss below the nearest swing low and a profit target at one and a half times your stop loss. You can see it was a profitable trade. Here you can see a crossover downwards on the impulse MACD, but it happened inside the lines and you should ignore this signal as you want to ensure that the price is uh, overextended. Now, here you spotted another crossover downwards on the impulse MACD, but it happened above the overbought line, indicating there is a downward momentum while the price is overbought. So you can open a sell position here. For your risk management, set your stop loss at the nearest support level and your take profit target at one and a half times your stop loss. You can see it was a profitable trade. Now, uh, I will show you another advanced strategy that you can use with the Impulse MACD to find breakouts. But before that, make sure to uh, don't forget to sign up to Bybit. Without an account, we cannot make any money. A breakout occurs when the price suddenly moves in one direction. Now, if you can take advantage of a significant move, you can make massive profits with minimal risk. So commonly, breakouts form after a long period of ranging or sideways market and you can use the impulse MACD indicator to identify these markets and also find breakouts even before they happen. So, to use this strategy, first you need to find a ranging market and that is something you can do by waiting for the impulse MACD to go flat. As you can see here, but you also need to consider the length of the flatness. Don't forget that you only want to use signals where the impulse MACD goes flat for a long period. You do this to make sure that you don't get a false signal. As the longer the market stays within the range, the higher the chance a breakout would happen. Next, after identifying the ranging market, you need to predict the direction of the breakout, whether it will happen to the upside or to the downside. So you can do it by looking for signs of rising momentum, as shown by the histogram, which are the bars you can see here in the middle. 
Here you can see the histogram is currently flat and after that it slowly rises towards the upside as reflected by the price, which is also going upward. It indicates the overall momentum is bullish and the breakout will likely happen towards the upside. So this is a good opportunity to open a buy position. For your risk management, set your stop loss just slightly below your entry position right here. And for your profit target, uh, you can set it three times the length of your stop loss. You can see it was a profitable trade right here. And also guys, if you want to work in crypto, whether it's for Bitflex, Binance, Bybit, Kraken, all these other uh, cool crypto companies, go to cryptojobs.com to get a job in crypto. And if you are a crypto company, you can list your jobs right there. Cryptojobs.com is my job board and Bybit is hiring there, for example, Bitflex. Um, and many other companies out there, big and small. And if you have a small or big crypto company, go to cryptojobs.com. We take care of the recruitment for you. And if you haven't seen this video, this huge video right now, go click it right now. See you over there. Bye-bye.